uh, in my seminary uh, notes, the sentence that populates those pages more than any other sentence in the notes that are about forgiveness is that forgiveness is a lifelong process. Uh, it's a process of habits and practices that we acquire through our discipleship to become a forgiven and so forgiving people. A lot of times we think of forgiveness as transactional, uh, maybe a one-off occurrence between two people uh, who have come to an impasse and somehow one absolves the other so that they can go on their merry way. Um, and, and maybe it does work like that sometimes, but in the bigger picture, forgiveness is actually uh, purposed by an end, which is reconciliation. So forgiveness is a building block of the new world that God is making. And the new world that God is making uh, takes shape in communion. Uh, in Christ, God is reconciling all things. So forgiveness is um, not something we just do every now and then. It's a way of being in the world with God, a way of bearing our baptismal identity to the world, um, announcing the forgiveness that God has given to us and intends to give to all. And that the point of that is to reconcile the whole human community uh, into a loving, joyful communion of saints. Um, one example that um, shows how we don't do this well <laughs> is um, the way that we handle folks convicted of crimes in our um, society. Uh, if you notice, we often will call the place where those folks go for, in theory, renewal, like the Department of Corrections or the penitentiary, a place to do penance and to turn and repent and learn a new way of life. Uh, but in fact, we don't support them in that way. Uh, I also had in my notes from seminary, uh, what if our prisons uh, were places that um, facilitated and nurtured communion rather than destroying it? So um, it's that's the difference between um, retributive justice, just an eye for an eye, tit for tat. Uh, you did something wrong, so now you're going to suffer and endure or restorative justice, which is, yes, there are consequences to these actions, but there's a point here, and the point is renewal. The point is new life in Christ. The point is reconciliation. So forgiveness, um, it's, not near, it's never easy, but it's not even as easy as a one-off transaction. It's a lifetime of transformational work. Christians are called to be repairers of the breach, uh, of the many breaches uh, within human community. And so God, um, by the Spirit, sustains us for that work. Um, but it's, it's a lifelong work um, that uh, we do tire of doing, but we never exhaust it of its possibilities.